TitleMatchNetwork.com. Let's talk about meeting uh, Ray Hercules Hernandez. What are your early memories of, uh, of Ray? When I first met Ray was in Australia. I was at SD Jones, Special Delivery Jones. Yep. We were tag teaming. And Ray made this sign towards me and SD. And I started laughing. And SD looked at me and said, he means it. I'm like, what? Because he means it. He wants to cut our throats. I'm like, why? I don't I didn't do anything to this guy. I don't even know. Right. You know? He's like, well, I'm just telling you. I'm like, okay. And we got I got through it, obviously. And um I don't know how I honest to God, I really don't know how Ray and I started to hit it off. But um I had said to him one day, maybe it's to get to a show. I started getting ready to all his shows. Even though I was a baby face, he was a heel. We weren't supposed to travel together back then. Um, Vince got word. And I had said to some of the agents, he'll drop me off. And then I'll let him drive the car in. And then I'll walk into the building. And they're like, that's fine. He's making every show on time. It's fine. Um, so, you know, then I got into uh, training with him. I showed him my methods of training. And um, he loved them. So we hit it off right off the hop. We are going to the gym. We're both gym freaks. So we hit it off and uh, constantly challenging each other, which is great. And um, then I just went to the office and said, hey, listen, why don't you put, you know, Ray's dead in the water. I'm dead in the water. Why don't you put us together and call us Power and Glory? So that was your name? That was my name. And uh, Pat was like, Wow. He goes, you came up with that? And I said, yeah. He goes, so who's the power? And I guess you're the glory, right? Like that. And I said, yeah. I said, and the whole thing behind it would be, you know, my big man will never get beat. I'll always take the fall. And when we win, no, even if Ray goes to pin the guy, he gets off the guy and gives me the tag. And I walk in and I pin him. Ray loved the idea. Thought it was great. He said, I'll talk to Vince. We'll talk about it at TV. Vince called us in, asked us what we wanted to be. We told him heels, and away we went. Memories of the angle you did with Dino Bravo that led to you guys teaming? Um, phenomenal. They, I didn't know how they were going to switch Ray and me to heel. Because they had taken, unbeknown to anybody else, Ray and I went out in the ring, and we beat up some bad guys. And they cheered us. So, and we went out to music. So Vince is like, well, this isn't fucking good. So then we went out against more baby faces. Like people that really knew these guys were baby faces. And they cheered us. So we cut the music. And that didn't work. They still cheered. So he says, fuck this. We got to come up with an angle. So that's when we came up with the Marty Gennetti and, or the Rockers angle. What do you remember of working those guys? Phenomenal. Two of the best workers in the business. Uh, gel, jive, you name it, man. They could rock and roll. Easy to work with. Now, you and uh, Herc, you got to work a little bit with the Heart Foundation as well because you, you worked with Jim. Did Herc have any problems with uh, the Heart Foundation at all? No heat? Everything was easy? Easy. Okay. Why didn't Vince ever get behind the team, Power and Glory? Because it wasn't his idea? Because it wasn't his idea. Never created it. He never thought it would take off. Slick was managing you guys. I can't forget about Slick. Memories of uh, working with Slick. One of the best mouthpieces in the business. You know, Ray and I would do interviews and we'd turn to him and say, listen, we're out of ideas. He goes, don't worry about it. I got this one. And he would just run. And we'd be nodding and, you know, just chime in now and then. But uh, and a real nice guy. 